Chapter 243 Lead the Way Su Fengxin actually felt quite sorry for the little white tiger, but she knew that Yi Jushang must have had a reason for doing this. No matter how much her heart ached, she had to bear with it. Otherwise, they would all die in this damn place. Their bodies were still falling rapidly. Judging from the height, even if they fell into the water, they would die, so they could only rely on the little white tiger. Little tiger, little tiger, it's up to you whether your master can survive or not. Don't worry, that little guy has activated the Eye of Aurora. It won't be a problem for him to stay alive. Yi Jusheng could sense Su Fengxin's concern for the little white tiger, so he said something to reassure her. What is the Eye of Aurora? Su Fengxin asked in confusion. She had noticed the difference in the tiger's eyes. They emitted a strange white light, like two small night pearls. They were very beautiful. The mystic crystal in its name is not just for searching for crystal marrow but also because of their talent, the Eye of Aurora. It is the highest talent of the mystic crystal white tiger and takes them hundreds of thousands of years to awaken the Eye of Aurora. With it, they can see in the darkness and can also see the essence of everything clearly. It's the natural counter to illusions. So powerful, then can it find the exit here? I'm sure about that. The little white tiger is too young. Its talent has just been activated, so its power might not be that great. Whether it can find the exit will depend on its own ability, but it should have no problem staying alive. The little white tiger had a special relationship with the space-time emperor. This void passageway was likely created by the space-time emperor. So it was unlikely that the little white tiger's life would be in danger here. Su Fengxin also knew this, so she was not as worried as before. She grabbed Yi Jusheng's hand with all her might and tried her best to get as close to him as possible. Not long later, the little white tiger that had been thrown out returned. It jumped out of the dark void and strung itself onto Zhu Fengxin's shoulder, crying out by her ear, Aru, Aru. You're back so early, have you already found the exit? Zhu Fengxin was happy to see the little white tiger, but she could not understand what it was saying at all. Aru, Aru, the little white tiger continued to roar and even nodded repeatedly. It used its body to express itself. You really found the exit, Aru? If you found it, lead the way. Yi Jusheng picked up the little white tiger and threw it out again. The pitiful guy had just returned and was thrown out again. It must be deeply traumatized. Yi Jusheng did not care about its feelings. In fact, he had a grudge against the little white tiger. If it did not have some value, he would have long skinned it. This damned bastard had put little Ziner's life in danger. How could he not be angry? The little white tiger also knew why Yi Jusheng hated it. Hence, after being thrown out, it did not complain at all obediently leading the way. It jumped in when it saw a small whirlpool emitting a grayish white light. Yi Jusheng had been staring at the little white tiger and followed it into the grayish white whirlpool with Su Fengxin. He shouted at little Lei and Huri who were not far away, jump in if you see the grayish white whirlpool. Little Lei saw a small whirlpool by the side, so he jumped in. Shuri brought Fuyun with him and also found the small vortex. Then, he jumped in. Behind this spatial passageway were quite a few small vortices, but they were not eye-catching. If one did not look carefully, one would not be able to see them at all.